Hey, welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you're doing well. Now, as, I, as you do, you probably have spent time on Instagram where you're just scrolling through the pictures of watches that, that, are, that have been uploaded to Instagram and really haven't seen anything that have caught your eye. You've seen the same watch over and over again, but I was doing this a few days ago, um, actually closer to when Basel World was going on, and I came across this really cool uh, watch. It's really interesting. I'll put up a picture right now. Um, it was super colorful, it had a really cool design to it, and I didn't really know much about it. Um, I ended up kind of researching it and looking at you know, the, the dial and seeing what um, company it was from, and I ended up finding the company that this watch was produced from, and the company is named Schwarz Etienne. Now, I had never heard of this watch company before, and I thought it was a really cool piece, so I started researching it and um, continued down my, my Instagram hole of of watches but ended up finding out some really cool things about this company so in this video what I thought I'd do is I would explain the watch company to you tell you a little bit about the history of it and go into this watch that I found on Instagram um, but before we do that if you haven't liked this video already you should already have done that because I say this every single time I make a video <laughs> um, please uh, subscribe to the channel it really does help us out and yeah, let's dive into this uh, watch company. So Schwarz Etienne is a Swiss watch, Swiss watch company that was founded in 1902 by Paul Arthur Schwarz and Olga Etienne, um, who was his wife. Um, they, it's located in La Chaux de France in Neuchâtel in Switzerland and it's a privately held company. Um, so super, <laughs> it's, it's situated right in the, in the Euro region, right where all the other watch companies are, are found. Um, and it has a pretty, pretty extensive history, uh, being that it dates back all the way to 1902. Um, they focus on haute horlogerie uh, pieces, which ha their in-house movements are created by, you know, um, their in-house watchmakers. They don't use, for example, ETA movements, or they don't bring in movements from other watch companies. They're all manufactured in in-house. So, um, for all of you purists out there, Schwarz Etienne is 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 as pure as it gets, um, and they created this piece, which is super colorful for Basel World of 2019. Now, the name of it is the Ode to the 70s, which is very, very fitting. And as I said, it was released at Basel World of 2019. They have released um, two other lines that are titled Ode to, and then whatever it's um, an Ode to. Um, the first one was an Ode to the Week, and the second was an Ode to the Spring, uh, to Spring. Um, and this Ode to the 70s was inspired by the psychedelic art of the 1970s. Um, its dial is handcrafted in Closonet and Champlevé enamel, so um, a lot of hand craftsmanship has gone into creating the dial of this watch. Um, it's powered by an in the in-house caliber TSE-121, which is a tourbillon movement. As you can see, there's a tourbillon at 2 or 2 o'clock, um, and it has a mic rotor on the dial side of the watch at 9 o'clock which has the peace and love symbol that obviously um, continues to wind the automatic wind in-house movement from Schwarz Etienne. The case is in white gold. It measures 14, 44 millimeters and it has a see-through, um, little see-through back where you can see where the, the, um, where the tourbillon is spinning. And this watch retails for 118,000 Swiss francs and it's limited to 23 watt, uh, pieces so it's very, very exclusive, very, very cool design to have on your wrist. And I think what really makes this watch such a cool watch and something that if you have that this type of money you should consider is that it's a small watch company and the watch is a small watch company that perhaps not many people have heard about, but it also is a, it catches your eye um, so quickly um, that any if you wear this on your wrist, anyone's gonna notice it. It doesn't matter if they're half blind. <laughs> um, this is such a cool design. It's got this colorful dial. Um, and if you're you know a little bit more eccentric and you're okay with wearing things that are not understated, this, this is the perfect watch for you. And I think the, the reason why I like it so much is that it's different. Um, Jean-Claude Beaver uh, gave a, um, he was giving a, a speech at, at this university and he said that in order to progress um, within the world, you want to make sure you're um, you're first and different. And um, I think that different different factors really kind of captured me. This watch is so different than anything else you're going to find on your wrist. I mean, it is $118,000. There's a lot you can do with that type of budget, but 
um, if you want to get a true uh, Swiss watch watch piece that's been around for over a hundred watch Swiss watch company that's been around for over a hundred years, um, Schwarz Etienne is a really good way of getting into that. The ode to the 70s is um, um, it's a different type of watch that you're going to be wearing. It catches your eye, and it's really a cool way to enter into buying from smaller watch companies that, in my opinion, are really moving our industry forward and um, keeping us up with progressing um, within the world of horology. Um, as I said, you know, Schwarz Etienne focuses on uh, hot horology uh, pieces, so um, if you're trying to move into that segment, this is a great way to do it and something that you're not gonna see on everyone else's wrists. Um, I thought I'd just tell you a little bit of a uh, little story about, you know, me scrolling through Instagram and seeing some really cool pieces. You know, you see your common things like the Speedmaster, a lot of Rolex pieces, you know, AP, Blow, all that kind of stuff. Um, but this was something that kind of stood out to me, which is, is hard to do nowadays on Instagram. So I'll put a link to Schwarz Etienne in the, in the description so you can check out their website. I'll put some links to articles of, of, of the Ode to the 70s. It's a super cool piece. Um, and, and something you should maybe do a little bit more research on uh, to, to find out more about it. So if you like this video, like this, um, make sure you have, if you haven't already, like this video, comment below what you think about this Ode to the 70s. It's definitely different, maybe it's not your taste, but super cool. And hope you guys have a nice rest of your day.